Hey everyone! Hope you're having a good break. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video, our, our drawing tutorial from Ms. Conklin on how to draw sheep. Remember to draw five of them for your project. Today's video, we are making the sheep fold for them. Since we have the sheep, now we need a place for them to stay. So grab your markers, your magazines, and get ready to make your sheep fold. I'm so excited for you to do this. One thing I forgot to tell you before, but want to remind you is that because it's spring break, I won't be getting on to comment uh, on your comments. I love to read them and I love to know how you're doing, but I'm not going to do that this week so that I have a little break from the computer screen. But I will get on on Monday and I can't wait to see all your comments and I can't wait to respond to each one of you. Alrighty, have a great day. Hope you enjoy today's video. Bye-bye. All right, everyone, it's time to work on our sheep fold. We're going to start by using our magazine pages. So tear out any magazines where you see enough space to make a strip, like on this tree here. You see how there's a strip here? You could get the top, you could get the sides. Several different ways you can find a strip in this tree. And on the next one, on this one, you see on the side of her. And this one is great with hair. You can get many, many strips with hair. We've got hair on this one too. And then this one is... Um, this one is a little like really dark blackish brown, but it's going to work just fine. So I'm going to speed it up while I cut out the strips and then I'll be right back for you. Once you're done cutting everything out, you should have 12 strips. And now I'm gonna show you before we finish this section, how we lay out our strips. Remember how we make the sheep fold? We stack them up a little bit, kind of like Lincoln Logs. Sorry, I think you're gonna miss on the very bottom strip on this, on the camera angle, but you know what it looks like. We basically just alternate, like Lincoln Logs, if you remember or have played with Lincoln Logs. There we go, that's better. Alrighty, so we'll stack one on top of the other all the way around until you've got everything set for your sheep fold. And then, you're ready to put your sheep in and have some fun. Now, we're going to move on to the next option. If you don't have magazines in your house, then you can try coloring these or drawing and coloring these. All right, so let's try this with markers. Now, normally, in order to cut, you know, we have to cut 12 strips of these, 12 brown strips. Normally you might wanna color the whole entire paper, but I think if we do that, we're gonna run out of ink with our markers. So what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna try drawing straight lines, just up and down and up and down and up and down, and that'll still give us the look of wood, but it won't use up so much marker. So I'm gonna start on one end, and then I'm just gonna carefully, well, it actually doesn't have to be that carefully. I'm just gonna start drawing lines. All right, I'm gonna speed this up for you while I draw the lines. All right, so that worked really well. We have a, a sheet that looks like wood, but we didn't use up all our marker. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut 12 strips. Remember, we need 12 strips for our sheet fold. So I fold it in half because then I only have to make six cuts. And every time you cut, you get two pieces of, two strips, so two pieces of wood. So I'm gonna speed this up while I cut these out and I'll be right back. Now you'll see that I'm going to smooth these out because when we color with markers, sometimes they tend to roll up. So we smooth them out and that helps. Okay, now I'm going to show you, if you remember, how we set these out. Now we should, we already talked about this when we talked about the magazine way to do this. But if you skipped over to this, I'll tell you one more time. Remember we stack them up kind of like Lincoln Logs where we go one tall, one over, one up, one over, and we rotate. And that way we end up making our entire sheep fold all nice and secure with all 12 of our brown strips. And now the sheep fold is ready for the sheep. Great work, guys. <laughs> 